The Museum of the American Revolution opened to the public April 19th of 2017, so we're a new institution. But in many ways, we're a century-old startup because our collection began with the acquisition of General George Washington's command tent. Last May, uh, relaxing on my way to bed, I was looking through auctions and I stumbled across this watercolor of the Continental Army's encampment at Verplanck's Point in 1782. And I see a marquee tent that's very familiar, maybe is even Washington's, the one we have in our collection. And we realized very quickly, if that really is it, it's the first and only wartime image of the tent. So we needed to make sure that we could present it, not just in a way that said, here's this new item, but in a way that really told the story and the impact of what this item was. The first challenge we had is, okay, how are we gonna make sure people really appreciate all the hundreds of little tents and the soldiers and the vignettes? One of the early decisions was, okay, the, the way we want to display these watercolors and allow people to really dig into the detail is to use these enlargements uh, on these curved wall surfaces. And the Miller Walls really helped us create that panoramic effect of the watercolors in large graphic reproductions. You are seeing as close to a photograph of a moment as possible. And buried in there, all this incredible detail, you know, vignettes of soldiers with their weapons stacked, their knapsacks off, who were kind of lounging around. As you're standing there, it's, it's as if you're actually looking out and you have to turn your vision all the way around like you would if you were standing on the landscape for real. Now you can see what the Continental Army looked like at this moment. We could tell where the Rhode Island Regiment was, where the 3rd Connecticut Regiment was, and specifically where George Washington's tent was. I had the opportunity to speak with people about the details that I had uh, researched and see their reactions, and it, it, they were all excited to learn how the final years of, of the war were, were some of the most important uh, for uh, solidifying the legacy of uh, the fight for American independence. We hope that museum goers who come to our exhibit will see that there are still discoveries to be made about the American Revolution. Part of what we hope people will do is just sort of go on our journey of learning. How did we figure out what this was? How did we confirm the authorship to the artist, Pierre L'Enfant? What I want people most to come away with is a sense of, I think, respect for what our forefathers did. Really understand what these things mean outside of just their cases that we put them into. It's really shed new light on Washington, on early American art, on cartography, uh, and on the Continental Army at the end of the Revolutionary War.